Hello, this is Ari Vagabond Jerry, and I'm spending a few days in Beaumont, Texas. And surprisingly, there are quite a few interesting tourist attractions in Beaumont. I made a list of nine of them, and I'm going to go around town and video just a little bit of each one to show you what's here that you might be interested in whenever you're coming through Beaumont between Houston and the Louisiana border. And I'm starting out here at the Fire Museum. And behind me you see a giant fire hydrant <laughs> painted like a Dalmatian dog. How about that? Let me give you a little closer look. That ring right there is about eight feet off of the ground. I don't know how high it is to the top there. That's the museum building right there. And this is a memorial park. The State of Texas Firefighter Memorial. So if you're interested in the fire department, of various places you might want to go and visit the fire museum there i'm sure they have a lot of fire trucks and all sorts of related things to see i've been in a couple of fire museums before and they always have a lot of the old original fire trucks and just one block down from the fire museum is the Art Museum of Southeast Texas and next door to that is the Texas Energy Museum and on the grounds of the Energy Museum they have some really oddly colored creatures I bet you never seen dinosaurs this colorful before a lot more of them here in the yard hanging around and here are the four men of vision four brothers of the Rogers family we've got some interesting things in the energy museum if you're interested in drilling you want to learn about drilling <laughs> then this might be the place to go. Learn all about the oil industry, which Beaumont is very, very famous for. Oil wells like crazy around Beaumont. They call that a Christmas tree. This guy is hard at work. I reckon you could say I was well in the oil pipe. I was drilling water wells near Nacogdoches when I was born in 1885. Ma died of the typhoid next spring, just about the time Pa went broke and lost his rig. I've been to a few museums like this where they show the various products made from oil. And here's a big, eh, not too big, tanker truck. So this might be something else you would be interested in. Look at this. Beaumont has bicycles you can rent that they call bow cycles. <laughs> right across the street from the fire museum is the Edison Museum. But this says it's closed for renovations. So all I can see is this. There's a bus statue of Edison and a little bit of info here and this sign out front. I would like to go in and see it maybe next time I'm in Beaumont. All of those museums are in downtown Beaumont and within a couple blocks is the Neches River. And they have a park along the river here that says Riverfront Park behind the park close sign. Got this chain link fence. And I have no idea why the Riverfront Park would be closed. It looks like a pretty nice 
park. I don't see any problems. Got a nice paved hiking, biking, walking path along the riverfront. And this is the next place I'm going to show you. And this is not the house. This is the front house, which is the visitor center. The main house is behind here. I'm just going to show you a little bit of the inside. That's the front room. And here's the dining room. Look at this setup. I wonder what these candlesticks are worth. And here's the kitchen. Not much to it, actually. And here's one of those old style ice boxes. Look at that. No, this um, must be an electric freezer. It's got ice cube trays here. Made by Westinghouse. And this is a one or two person elevator. And here's another dining room, much smaller table. Oh, look at this. That is nice. Would you like some biscuits? <laughs> they might be getting stale by now. And here we've got whatever that is and some blueberries, I think. Huh. That was some really nice stained glass. This is a tea room, I guess. And here is the other front room. And this is a side room with a lot of windows to get air and light in. I'm not going to go up to the second floor. Nice staircase. This is the courtyard behind the house. It looks kind of strange back here with part of it brick and the, most of it wood. And the rest of the property is across the street here. And that big building is the carriage house. This is a 1969 Cadillac Fleetwood. There's more houses on the property here. I'll put a link below the video where you can go to their website and read about the history of the place here. The whole property takes up like three blocks. Now I would consider this place to be the major attraction in Beaumont. The Spindletop Gladys City Boomtown Park. They have a lot of these old buildings restored from when Beaumont became a boomtown in the oil industry as a result of the oil well that they called Spindle Top. It made all sorts of records when the Spindle Top oil well was discovered and it took them a long, long time to finally cap it. The last time I came through Beaumont I went through all of these buildings and made a video of the property and what's inside of many of the buildings. So I'm going to put a link below here to the video that I made of the Spindletop Park. So you can go back and watch that video. I think you'll find it really interesting. Another attraction right off of Interstate 10 on the west end of Beaumont is Gator Country. And this gator has really been chewed up. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy. This is their office and gift shop and the entrance to the attractions here which is shaped like an alligator with a really long tail. It's kind of like the alligator businesses in Florida where they have 
alligator wrestling shows and things like that. And they have other animals and things. So this is something that the kids would really like. I'm not going to go in it. I've been to a few of these kind of places before, but if this is attraction you would like, then I think you would have a good time here. Here's some things you need to know. If you haven't been to one of these before, definitely do it when you come through Beaumont. There's some little alligators there. Several of them lying on that really long log. Not a pond where you'd want to go swimming. <laughs> I'm always surprised how long the alligators just sit perfectly still. They just barely move their head a little bit. That's the life of an alligator. So, probably a very interesting place. The last thing I'm going to show you is their botanical garden. This is Vi's Fountain, and yes, me, Vi is not very creative <laughs> in designing fountains. Well, let's look around a little bit in the Botanical Gardens. So I've been walking around the Botanical Gardens here, and I'm not finding it to be very impressive compared to other Botanical Gardens. I've seen, but if you have some time to kill and you feel like doing some walking, then you might like it. Now this is late fall, so if you're here in the spring, early summer, it might look a lot better. And the admission is free. So I got my money's worth. <laughs> well, folks, if you're coming through Beaumont, I suggest you stay for two or three days to see the things that I've showed you in this video, especially if you want to see it in a lot more detail. I went through it all pretty quickly. So hopefully when you get here, things will all be open. Things will look more fresh. <laughs> early in the year and I was really impressed how many interesting things to see there are in Beaumont. Good day folks.